In this video, we would continue studying some of the properties of a quadrilateral. Our first theorem says that, that if in a quadrilateral, the opposite angles are equal, then it's a parallelogram. Now let's prove this statement. First, let me draw a quadrilateral. And let this angle be x. And as the opposite angles are equal, so if this is x, this angle would also be x. And if this is y, this angle would also be y. And now, by the angles and property of a quadrilateral, we know that the sum of the angles of the quadrilateral would be equal to 360 degrees. So, we have x plus y plus x plus y would be equal to 360 degrees. That is 2x plus 2y is equal to 360 degrees. That means x plus y would be equal to 180 degrees. Now look in this figure. This is angle x and this is angle y and their sum is 180 degrees. Now this line segment, let me name it A, B, C, and D. These two angles, angle A and angle B, their sum is equal to 180 degrees and they lie with a common transversal AB. Now remember the theorem of parallel lines that if between two lines there is a transversal then the two internal angles have a sum of 180 degree and here we see that sum of these two angles is 180 degree and AB is the transversal so we can say that DA is parallel to BC Similarly, come here. Again, x plus y is equal to 180 degree. Angle C is equal to x and angle D is equal to y. Again, we can say that angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degree with the transversal being BC. Hence, we can say that CD is parallel to DA. Now these two conditions help us to say that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Hence we have proved that, that if any quadrilateral has the opposite angle equal then it's a parallelogram. Now let's solve a question. Here we have a quadrilateral A, B, C, D and we have this external angle EAC which has been bisected by this line segment AD. The triangle ABC is isosceles with AB being equal to AC. And also we have that AB is parallel to BC. Now we have to prove that angle DAC is equal to angle BCA. Also, we have to prove that this quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. So, let's begin. We have been told that ABC is an isosceles triangle and AB is equal to AC. So, we can say that angle B and angle C both are equal. So, if we assume this angle to be X, this would also be x 
and now by the exterior angle property of a triangle we know that angle e a c which is the exterior angle is the sum of the two interior angles that is angle a b c and angle a c d both of these angles are equal to x so angle e a c would be x plus x which is 2x and now a d bisects this angle EAC so we can say that angle EAD is equal to angle DAC angle EAD is equal to angle DAC which would be half of angle E A C and that is half into 2x which is x so we have proved that this angle is x and you see angle A C B is also x so we can say that angle B C A and angle B A C are equal. That's one thing we had to prove. Next, we have to prove that quadrilateral A B C D is a parallelogram. And we already know that A B is parallel to B C. That's already been given in the question. Now, we have shown that angle B A C is equal to angle B C A. These two angles are equal. And also, we have seen that AC is a transversal between these two angles, which lie for the line segment AD and BC. Hence, by the property of parallel lines, we can say that AD is parallel to BC. AD is parallel to BC. And since AB is also parallel to BC, we can say that this quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. Next, we have a theorem which says that that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Now, let me draw a parallelogram. Let me draw the diagonals of this parallelogram. I'll name it A B C D and their point of intersection as O. We have to prove that the diagonals of this parallelogram bisect each other. That is, AO is equal to OC. Now, in triangles AOD and triangle COB, we can say that angle AOD is equal to angle C O B because they are vertically opposite angles and also if this is a parallelogram and AD is parallel to BC we can say that angle B A O angle B A O 
would be equal to angle BCO angle BCO and AD is equal to BC therefore triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COB it is AOD actually I'm sorry these two triangles are congruent by A O S test and if these two triangles are congruent we can say that A O is equal to O C and B O is equal to O D AO is equal to OC and BO is equal to OD. Hence we have proved that that O is the midpoint of both these diagonals. Therefore we have proved that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Next we will do a question in which we have to prove that the diagonals of a square bisect each other at 90 degrees. That is, both the diagonals of a square are perpendicular to each other. I'll name this A, B, C, B, and this as O. Now, in both these triangles, triangle OAD and triangle OBA, we can say that AB is equal to AD. AB is equal to AD since it's a square and obviously the sides would be equal. Also, from the previous theorem, we can say that DO is equal to DO DO is equal to OB because a square is also a parallelogram and we have proved that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other and AO is common hence we can say that triangle a o d is congruent to triangle a o b by s s s test and now line B O B is a straight line and since these two triangles triangle A O D and triangle A O B are congruent we can say that angle A O B is equal to angle A O B and the sum of these angles angle A O D plus angle A O B would be 180 degree since B O B is a straight line here I would replace angle A O B with angle A O D because both of them are equal so it would be angle A O D plus angle A O D is equal to 180 degree 
hence angle a o d would be equal to 90 degrees similarly in this equation angle AOD and angle AOB both are equal to 90 degrees hence we have proved that the diagonals of a square bisect each other at 90 degrees